You know, uh, the girls wanted to do the video with me this morning, and that just reminded me of a verse, or a couple verses out of 1 John. 1 John says, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. He goes on, Beloved, we are God's children now. And there is this, there is this amazing truth that we are God's children. We are God's children. So, so that has amazing implications for where we are living today, for all the stuff that's going on. As you, as you go about your day today, it's, it's my prayer that you would know that you are God's child. And that what is, what is going on, what is going on in the world is not, is not him necessarily, it's not him punishing you. It's not because of anything wrong you did. Like you did not cause the, the situation that's going on. We live in this world that is broken. It's broken by, by sin. It's broken by the fall. That's why Jesus came. But, but we are his children. And just like my kids, they're, they're running around here and, you know, here's Ellie and here's, here's Livy. They're just running around and they're watching. Like, and I just bring them up on my lap. They sit beside me. I put my arm around them. That's, that's the way God is. That's the way God wants to be with us. So if you are worried or afraid or concerned, like just, just know that. You are God's child if you've trusted Jesus as your Savior. And He loves you and He wants to care for you during this time. He wants to provide for you. He wants to assure you that you are, you are in His hand and that this is not out of His control and that, that he is gonna, He's going to watch over you because you are his precious, precious child. That's my prayer for us, that we would know, walk in the truth today, that no matter what, what happens today, no matter what the news is, we are God's children. And he loves us and cares for us. <laughs>